Hey all, Matt Long Realtor here. Open house again today. This is a luxury home in the premier subdivision neighborhood of Grand Oaks Manor. Look at this beautiful landscaping. All right, we're gonna head inside. It's 90 some degrees outside like Florida is. One thing I truly love about all the homes in this community, the design flow and features on these homes. This one is a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. It is a designer Serenity model. The first of the three bedrooms is right off to the side. It is the smallest of the three bedrooms. Go ahead and head in here. You see, pretty standard size closet. And the great thing about this, being at the front of the house, it's great for an office. This is a corner lot, so this beautiful landscaping we see right out here. Right, you can see people as they come up, who's waiting at the door for you. Or if you have maybe a, an elderly family member or, or someone that lives with you, it's at the front of the house. It gives you the split floor plan and you'll see this other great thing. Again, three bedroom, two and a half bath. So what we got here is a pocket door, which when opened up gives you direct access. Again, this isn't a requirement. Somebody could just go around, but the thought and the design into having this here makes it so much more accessible to the loved one or family members here. So it's almost like it has its own in-suite bathroom. They did this beautiful matching stone throughout the home. We come in, we this wonderful area over here. Some have it as uh, a formal dining. I've seen it used as a lounge as well. As you can see over here, we have this wonderful uh, dry bar. If you go up, you can really see and feel the 12 foot ceilings that are in this home. They got fay cabinets in between this entertaining area. We'll call it a dining area or formal dining area. Now off to the left here, we'll enter in to the area for the second bedroom, the garage and the laundry. But notice here, another pocket door. These are great to help segment and partition parts of the house. Now having cabinets right by the door when you come in is such a blessing to the garage. So they have it for groceries. Maybe you have a key hook here on the wall, but it allows you to come in and out of the house. Again, two car garage with space here in the back. If you wanted to add workbench or storage space there, still get in two vehicles. If you have a larger truck, that way, Probably wouldn't be able to have the workbench, but you could fit a truck in. But gives you this, you know, this is, I think that, you know, this, one of these two are the reserve, you know, be the junk drawer. You know what I'm talking about. Doesn't matter what quality of house you have. Every house has one. Comes right into, no, not a second kitchen. This is the laundry room. Beautiful counter, tons of counter space. And for these stackable washer and dryer. Again, we have some motion sensor lights here in the house. Nice size closet here. Could be used as pantry space as well if you wanted to. But some people say that with such a large opening, what if I wanted to, boom, pocket door. What if you wanted to, you know, make it so 
Not everybody saw your laundry room. All right, let's do that. So that looks great. Also has plenty of attic space. All right, so we're gonna continue on to the second bedroom. This is larger than the previous guest bedroom. It does have its own in-suite bathroom, committed in-suite bathroom, as well as walk-in closet. The wonderful thing about these 12 foot ceilings, especially in closets, gives you more cubic space, which means you can put in shelves, you can put in build-ins, whatever your heart desires. There are options though. I know the last bathroom I did talk about um, as for maybe a senior relative and they both have a bathtub. There are options to change certain features in the house. If you wanna have a walk-in bathroom, that is something we can put in the offer and say, hey, we like this, but I wanna walk in because grandma can't make that step into the bathtub. It's not as safe. All right, so come back out here. This is the dining area we were in earlier and brings us into this beautiful kitchen, living and entertainment space. So we're gonna start here within the kitchen. Again, matching stone countertops throughout. You have a breakfast buffet down one side of this island and then on the other side, the drawer space, cabinet space. You can, you can hide away, you can hide away the trash can, you know? You don't have to put it out in the open. I love being able to have places that I can put stuff. Like I would, I don't put my, I don't leave stuff out on the counter. They don't have a coffee maker. Mine goes, it's put away. Keep it clean and clear. So as you can see here, you can be over here getting something ready for breakfast. Still face-to-face -face interaction. You can have the game on. Something's going on here, entertaining. These windows here are such an, another awesome design of this house. Plus, they have gas stoves, which I'm a huge fan of. So you could be here cooking. Let's say you're here, you're on your phone looking up a recipe. This is what your phone's looking at. Beautiful, got some natural light out here. Oh, the phone's dying. Oh, what's this? Boom. Now you have an outlet. And there's two on the counter here. Just simple. Push a little button, fold away. And of course, right within the kitchen, having pantry space within the kitchen is phenomenal. Again, over around the corner here is the laundry room. So if you have other pantries you want to put in there as well, you can. But you can just take a look here with this uh, breakfast. Or some might use this as the formal dining area. Just being able to appreciate the time and space. And just... It's a 12 foot ceiling, I keep saying. Gives you so much more. And then on top of this, four panel sliding glass doors. Now this is just beautiful, where you can look out onto the patio like this. But here's the thing I like about this. We can open it up all the way it's not just one sliding door or two two fold over the top and then you have one sticking out no no like i said the design and the features that they put on here are truly truly next level opens all the way up this picture if you like entertaining this is great if you didn't you get a nice breeze through here Say you have a, a birthday party. You're in here, right? You got your wine. Your kids are out here, right here. You're on the bouncy castle. 
and keep an eye on them, right? Perfect. All right, I'll close that back up on my way out. But now, let's head on in to the main bedroom. Turn the corner here. First thing you have off to the left and the right are his and her walk-in closets. Well, they're about the same size, so maybe it's hers, hers, and some of his. I don't know. Or you guys can determine that. I, I don't. But the size, this master, is phenomenal. I like that they decided to go with a door out to the patio instead of additional sliding doors, which is great for access, but also wonderful for privacy and wall usage. You have lots of natural light, room for sitting. You can just be here reading a book for bed. Or other things but it is wonderful and I know I see where your eyes have gone and head to the ensuite in the main bedroom first thing you see is this beautiful glass enclosed shower the his and her sinks private you know, privacy with this again pocket door tons of storage but here's for some is the best part gasp it's a beautiful tub here let me, let me help you let me help you there you go this is where we're supposed to like, cue the relaxation music, dim the lights. Isn't that wonderful? And if you like this painting, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Just wonderful tub. If you have any questions about this home or any homes here in Marion Oaks, or uh, in Grand Oaks Manor, sorry, Grand Oaks Manor, Give me a call, 352-403-3730. Find me online at Matt Long Realtor. At Matt Long Realtor everywhere on social media. Be sure to like, heart, subscribe, share, thumbs up. Turn on the little bell.